Hi, what's happening in your data center today? Are you busy virtualizing? Are you concerned about increasing security threats in your data center? Are you looking at setting up disaster recovery and business continuity solutions? Or are you plain simple doing consolidation? Maybe all of that. And guess what? Today, it's about doing more with less. It's about how you would save costs and how you'd save money. Today, it's about delivering higher business value. And I'm going to talk to you more on that. So over the last 12 to 18 months, we've seen a lot of adoption of virtualization technologies with the advent of uh, technologies like the hypervisor. Hypervisor helps you create virtual machines on top of a metal or on top of a server. What you really do is you can therefore run multiple application environments on a single server, which therefore lets you improve the utilization of servers from typically 8 to 15 percent to 50 to 60 percent. That's doing more with less. Now that's not where it stops. Uh, virtualization also enables you to, to look at higher availability and disaster recovery. You could use technologies like live migration to, to create an indefinite loop of availability where virtual machines can keep on moving from one physical host to the other. And as these host machines uh, uh, probably uh, go down, the virtual machine is still up and running because it has automatically moved to a different physical host environment. So you can look at server utilization going up to 50 to 60 percent. This is what drives consolidation as well. Now how do you do virtualization? You basically need a combination of two technologies. You need what is called as a hypervisor. You need what is called as a hypervisor. A hypervisor is, is a thin layer that sits on top of the metal and the metal meaning the server and helps you create these virtual machines. And once you've created these virtual machines what you need to do is you need to use a virtual machine manager which helps you place, provision, and manage the virtual machine environment. What it also brings along with it is this entire thing about being able to manage the environment. And when you're looking at deploying technologies like virtualization, you also need to be able to manage your entire environment end-to-end. -end. So you're left with an environment that has physical machines, and you've created virtual machines on top of that, and applications running within those virtual machines you need an integrated management tool or a console that helps you manage the entire environment end to end probably out of a single pane of glass so the importance of virtual machine management or technologies that help you provision deploy and manage the end to end infrastructure is super important now when we talking about virtualizing the data center there's another interesting concept that comes up it's not just enough to create and manage the virtual machines you left with an environment that has physical machines as well and then you have these virtual machines on top and then you have applications running in these virtual machines. It is super important for you to be able to manage this entire environment end to end. So you need to be able to manage your entire infrastructure which includes your physical machines, your virtual machines and your applications through a single pane of glass. Guess what? You can do that with Microsoft System Center products. Coupled with the hypervisor technology that's available as part of Windows Server or as Microsoft Hyper-V Server along with System Center Virtual Machine Manager and System Center Operations Manager products. You can pretty much enable a virtualized data center that helps you, uh, helps you quickly provision uh, virtual machines, that helps you uh, create high availability and disaster recovery, and basically improve, uh, improve server utilization, which is about doing more with less, which is about saving costs. Now, this is not where it stops. The important consideration that also comes up here is how secure are virtual environments. Security is an interesting paradigm. The challenges of security grow day by day. Today, security attacks, security threats are more profit motivated than ever before. Microsoft's approach to security is defense in depth. It's not just enough to secure your perimeter. It's not just enough to secure your endpoint. You need to have a security strategy that secures multiple levels in your, in your organization. So you need to be able to secure your perimeter, you need to be able to secure your operating systems and applications, and you need to be able to secure your endpoint. That's defense in depth. The interesting thing is virtualization is something that's been accepted now by most customers as a big enabler of consolidation and doing more with less. What's happening after that? You're obviously also looking at things like disaster recovery, business continuity, and so on. There's one important aspect of virtualization that helps you look at disaster recovery and business continuity, and that's live migration. Using technology called live migration, you can 
move virtual machines seamlessly from one physical host to the other. So imagine a situation where one physical host machine fails. The virtual machine that's running your critical application has moved to a new physical host machine. So there is absolutely no downtime in your environment. The interesting thing that's emerging today is what's called as a cloud. There are multiple definitions of the cloud that's going around uh, uh, the industry today. If we were to give you a very simple definition of what the cloud is, basically the cloud has three components to it. You have infrastructure, you have the application and the platform, and you have the software. Right. This is what IT is all about. And if IT were to be offered as a service, that's a cloud. So IT as a service is one definition of a cloud. We are seeing that technologies like virtualization and associated technologies that help you provision and manage virtual machines, um, manage the SLA uh, better, are all leading to uh, adoption of cloud environments. We're seeing customers look at uh, enabling infrastructure as a service within the organization. This is typically true for larger enterprises and mid-sized companies who would want to start offering uh, the base infrastructure as a service to their divisions, their groups, and, and uh, users within the company. You as IT managers would need to know more about what's happening on cloud computing. You would need to know more about how making the right investments towards cloud computing will help you uh, deliver leading, at, leading edge technology to help your organization save cost, do more with less, drive more business value, and enable better productivity. But for now, to summarize, this talk of today. Remember, virtualization is something you can't avoid. If you aren't virtualizing today, you need to virtualize. You need to do more with less. You have to virtualize your data center. Look at Microsoft hypervisor technologies. Look at Microsoft Windows Server technologies and System Center to help you virtualize your environment and realize faster and better TCO and ROI. Let us know how we can help you in your virtualization endeavor. And you can get more data on this at www.technet.in. So if you need more information on virtualization or security technologies from Microsoft, please feel free to reach me at jaideeps at microsoft.com. Thank you.